seen down through the ages is as universal as life itself. It's been part and parcel of the evolutionary process between prey and predator and between members of the same species. Aggression and survival have been marked as partners. Man, by every standard known, rules as the most violently aggressive of all species. Man is the king of killers, so good at his trade that he may now be standing on the brink of self-destruction. Certainly, man's most frequent monuments to human achievement are monuments to war. And in a certain sense, this is not surprising, for whenever man really seeks change from friend or foe, his most frequently used strategy is that of the heavy hand. Before our technology of violence became so fantastically effective, our aggressive nature did not pose the problem that it does today when a decision to use force could destroy civilization as we now know it. Now because of this fact, it is absolutely essential for our survival as a species that we better understand man's aggression and direct it toward more peaceful alternatives. But understanding the problem is only part of the solution. The fact is, we already understand many forms of aggression. The task now is to relay that information to individuals whose actions will affect the future survival of the species man. <laughs>